I have tried about every memorization technique out there and this is what's helped me get straight A's every single year of high school to the point where I could sit the exam and not have to think because the information would flow out of my brain so easily. Quick, easy and effective the walking method. Now what is the study technique? It is essentially a kinesthetic study method that involves you or the student holding their notes or their flashcards, any study material that you've got in your hand and walking around your space, maybe your room or in your house, some sort of space where you have a lot of room to walk around in circles and you recite out the information that you want to memorize aloud. So come on, try this with me. Take your notebook or whatever notes you've got for the material that you're going to study or memorize in your hand and walk around your room in circles. The first thing, there are three things that you need to do to make sure this method is effective. The first thing is have that set of flashcards already prepared. So your notes, flashcard, textbook, anything that you actually need to memorize in the form of content. That's your first content step. The second step is you need to walk around a specific place and it needs to be the same place for your brain to be able to make associations continuously. So you need to keep that space the same. Let's say keep it your bedroom. And third thing is using your voice, actively reciting out those definitions or the information you want to memorize through the use of active recall. Here is a step-by-step -step guide on how to make sure you're doing the active recall part of the walking method properly. So first off, you need to make sure you have that uh, definition in your hand, recite that definition out loud. For instance, the definition of health by the World Health Organization. Recite that out once, Write the term on your whiteboard or a piece of paper, some sort of clean sketch or clean canvas that you can create a mind map around. Second thing, write down that key term, for instance WHO definition of health on your whiteboard. And third thing is repeating that definition out three times aloud. So you want to say the definition out loud three times to make sure it really sticks in your head. That's actually a neural connection that's forming. When you think about it scientifically, that is a single neural connection that has formed in your brain now when you recite the same information three times. Okay, so now that key term or that key definition that you want to memorize is in your brain. Okay, it's being stored. Now step two was to write the key term and write the definition on a whiteboard or a piece of paper. Make sure that you're writing the definition right below the key term so that then you can draw a bubble around it on your whiteboard and that will essentially form the basis or the starting point for something called a memory retrieval mind map where essentially you are now blurting out or writing down all of the key terms and their definitions from memory without needing to have uh, you know a look at your notes or have a look at your textbook or information that you needed to learn in the first place. Make sure you repeat this process with however many flashcards you've got or however many sections of the textbook that you need to memorize over the course of the week. Also, shameless little ad plug for you guys quickly. I am now on Instagram. It's Biolog is the user or handle name. You guys can search me up on Instagram now by typing It's Biolog in your search bar and you guys will see me as the first picture hopefully. Um, it's the same profile picture as my biolog one, so yeah, make sure you guys follow me on there. I post a lot more content over there. And with that, let's get back into the video. So I like to think of the walking method as the baseline of a cake. It's very similar. So the walking method forms the baseline of the cake and every other study technique out there forms the toppings that are added on top of the cake. So what I want you guys to do is make sure that whenever you're doing the walking method, you are combining that with another study technique like chunking, memorization of uh, terms using active recall and space repetition, making sure that you're doing those whiteboard mind maps. It always needs to be a connective you know, process and making sure you're using multiple study techniques at once to make sure the single walking method is going to be effective. Okay, part three or step three, for any memorization technique to be effective, there are two things that we 100% need to do, and that is active recall and spaced repetition. What we just did with the walking method is active recall. You know, we took a definition, we walked around a secluded space on and on repeating the same process and made sure that we were doing that definition out loud, saying it actively out loud. That is active recall. For spaced repetition now, I want you guys to use this method called chunking, where essentially you take a group of flashcards or group of definitions or memorization, whatever you need to memorize, and group them, segregate them based on theme or idea or topic. For instance, if you have a set of flashcards to memorize on the topic of Krebs cycle, and you know you need to do that over the week consistently, make sure you are doing four to five flashcards that describe the topic of Krebs cycle in a day. 
only do those four to five flashcards and make sure you are doing them with the walking method so you're doing those flashcards you know walking around your room making sure you're saying them aloud using a whiteboard writing them down on the whiteboard and writing the definition from memory do those two things together and do that consistently over the week for all of the flashcards until you have completed a full flashcard site for the Krebs cycle and now you know every single term needed to describe the Krebs cycle. Moving on to part 4 or step 4, obviously studying one concept is not going to help you right? We need to know everything for the exam, we need to know all of the topics. So what I need to you know, emphasize is that often in the exam you'll not see a question just coming up on one topic, right? Most of the times questions will ask you to link specific concepts to another concept from a completely different topic, completely different area of your textbook. So to make sure you're drawing connections between the concepts, use mind maps. They are the best study technique I have come across recently. So as you finish doing the walking method for the first set of flashcards, you should have that key term and the definition already put on your whiteboard, right? The first set is done. Do this and repeat this for all of the set of your flashcards until you now have a fully bloated mind map on your whiteboard for all of the flashcard sets, all of the key terms, all of the definitions. So that now, come exam time, that is your main study resource. You will only need that single mind map in order to know that you have covered all of the information and make sure you can get that A plus in the exam. Even for me, by the time the exam rolled around for subjects like history and biology, using this method essentially allowed me to memorize the whole textbook in one go. I could not believe that I had essentially memorized everything I needed to know and I could just blurt it out without having to actively think and waste time in the exam. So make sure you guys try this out and let me know what you guys think about the study technique in the comment section down below. And lastly, part five is a very detailed example of how I use the study technique personally during my high school years for all of these memorization heavy subjects like history and biology. So let's get right into a very detailed look in that. So visually, this is a summary of what I used to do. I would essentially take up the definition, first walk around a secluded space like my room, make sure that I'm doing that at least three times and try to do it without you know, stopping in between, without taking breaks. I would then take a one minute break after I had done those, you know, that single definition at least, you know, three to four times. I would actually make sure to do it about five times to make sure I had it really solidified. Then I would go right down from memory without thinking, without, you know, actually looking at the notebook. I would then go and write down that definition uh, on my whiteboard, circle it to make sure, yes, this definition is done. I can now move on to the next one. I would repeat this process with every single flashcard I had. And then this is now a visual representation of what my whiteboard mind map would look like once I had finished the topic. And this I would then print out, make sure I had a really big copy of this, let's say on an A3 paper. I would put it up as a poster on my wall in my bedroom so that I could look at it every day. Or I would take this, you know, into my um, study session, maybe the library right before the exam. Uh, and make sure I'm going over it before the exam starts. And that is it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please do make sure to subscribe to Biolog. I put a lot of effort into these videos and especially with the new series, Biology Behind series, I've been making a lot of ultimate guide and jam-packed videos for you guys. So I hope you guys like this and find it useful. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.